Everyone, how's it going? My name is Eric, and right now I'm going to show you guys how to use the outline template tools inside Snap and Chrome extension. So if you guys get stuck or lost, feel free to pause the video, rewind, and go back to see anything you might have missed. Let's get started by activating our Snap and Chrome extension. We're going to click on the gray target icon in the right-hand corner, and once we do that, we're going to click on the gray slider. The gray slider will turn blue as well as the icon, and your Snap and toolbar will appear on the side of your screen, letting you know that Snap and is activated. Now we're going to open the study tools. To do this, all we have to do is click on the Show Outline button at the bottom of our toolbar, and then our study tools will open up. Now we can add a new outline by clicking on the blue plus, and then we're going to locate the three vertical dots in the white right-hand corner, and we're going to click on those, and then click on Add Outline Template. As you can see, we have a variety of different outline templates preloaded into Snap and Read that will allow you to take notes very easily and give you the correct format for whatever kind of notes you're taking. So right now I'm going to use the Cornell note-taking system. However, if you haven't heard of these or haven't used any of these kind of note-taking before, feel free to discover new ones on your own and see what works best for you and whatever style of notes that you need to take. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, we now have a pre-made template outline in our new outline. So we're going to go ahead and rename it by clicking on this title up here. And we're going to name it William Shakespeare because that is we're studying today and then I'm going to go ahead and rename the title of our outline to William Shakespeare as well. And so now what we're going to do is go ahead and look at this outline. As you can see, Snap and Read actually lays out exactly what needs to be included in this style of outline. So first bullet point, it says record. Record your notes using telegraphic sentences, five words or less. So if I was a student right now, I would be going ahead and then deleting this and then taking a five word note about what we're reading. So here it says he was the greatest English speaking writer in history and known as English, England's national poet. So I'm going to go ahead and write English writer and national poet as my note. So there we go. We have five words and that's exactly what it asks us to do. So the great thing about these template tools is it not only gives you styles and ways to take notes, it also gives you tips on how to study. So as you can see, this Cornell note-taking system gives me questions, reciting, reflecting, and reviewing, and different ways to do all these things to help me study for an exam if I'm taking notes on something that's going to be on an exam. But it also gives me a nice layout of how I should take notes if I was going to write an essay or something like that. So I hope that you guys can discover new types of note-taking and I also help, hope that this helps you for organizing essays as well as organizing your notes for class. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to go over to, to donjohnston.com support and find all of our product resources on our website. Thanks, guys, and have a nice day.